our crew's coming in on approach, getting the lines ready. Let's see how they fare. So our girl's got one hand on the dock. Our guy's trying to get the lines out. And now we're going to get shot locked. We'll zoom out a little bit, see if we can get both of these coming in. And our girl's leaning over the dock. They're trying to pull it over. Oh, she's in! She fell in the water! <laughs> and even her boyfriend's like, you were on the dock. I can't believe you didn't hold it. And our girl is taking a swim. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy, Baby Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And today we are visiting Boynton, and I'm trying to see if I can find her here. And there she is, unfortunately making the walk of shame up the dock. Trying to see if she's okay. And she looks like she's probably all right. But I'm wondering if boyfriend's gonna pay for that one or if she's just gonna take it. Because typically I know, man, oh, if I was, if I had a girl with me on a jet ski and she went in the water, I'm, I have a feeling I'm the one that would be taking the blame on that. But she's gonna make it up and around. So our crew here has actually been at this one for quite some time. This has probably been about a five minute launch. And they are finally in the water. Oh, oh my God. He almost hit the dock with his truck. That was close. Unbelievable. He got lucky there. That rear end just slid out, and that thing went right back to the dock. And now he's got to try and get the boat over, as we've only got the bow set up, it looks like. <laughs> and they got to get the stern around. So our guy's walking down, and... He looks like he went in the water. He's just going to push the stern over. So we're not even going to bother with lines, trying to get it fixed up or anything like that. We're just going to push the stern around, and we'll let this one go. I still think the lucky break on this one was the actual truck. I mean, that was probably just a few inches from smacking that dock, and that would have definitely left a ding. But, man, I mean, it took them five minutes to back this up anyway, so it's kind of an end of an ordeal for them. Here we go with the Invincible 33, I believe, coming in on approach. Wifey heading over to the dock to be on the ready. And you can see this wind's just whipping today from right to left across our screen. And Cap having the tug-of-war battle with the boat with the MIG cleat. But man, that wind and currents just got the stern and it's gonna swing this boat around on them. And he's gonna have to pull something fierce to try and get this back over. So we're gonna tie this line off, but I don't see anybody going for a stern line and that's what we need. Wifey's in the bow, but man, this would be a whole lot easier to get it around with the stern line. Because the stern is what's being caught here in the wind and current. As Cap just kind of takes a seat as he tries to analyze the situation. So Wifey's going to hand the bow line off. But I don't think this is going to do much good at all. Cap's trying to push it back around. Huh? 
And it sounds like Cap's gonna put her behind the helm, have her turn the motors on, and try and bring the stern back around. he has got it on, looks like they're gonna back up, but we got this Cobia coming in. Somebody's sitting on the bow. Let's take a look and see how they do. Slow roll approach. Wind and currents pushing them toward the dock. And they will land this one pretty good. Our crew's coming in on approach, same deal, wind and currents kind of got them, they're getting pushed all over the place, Cap's trying to get it lined back up. He does have two lines on the ready though, as they make approach. So he's got a decent angle back on it now, but the stern, like we've seen so far, is really trying to kick out on him as well. See if they land this soft. Cap gives a little brake check. It brings the bow back to level. He's gonna try and back in. We're gonna hit the stern first, it looks like. And our girl goes for the leap, lands it, and our girl goes over the front. That's a new approach. She literally came off the bow of the boat down into the water to walk it over versus going to the dock. I mean, maybe that's a technique more people should use. I don't think it's probably safe, but I mean, it definitely worked in this one, but that was pretty interesting. I've not seen anybody do that where, I mean, literally she went off the front bow of the boat, dropped down into the water, and then walked it over from there. And our crew in on approach as well. We've got lines on the ready. We look good to go. Cap laying it down with the slow roll approach. Oh, they might get this one. They might soft touch it right onto the dock. And they kick the stern off as they get off. Somebody's fortunate. They grab it really quickly. And they'll get it pulled back over. Coming in on approach. Wifey steps off and gets it on. She goes for the tie-up. Hubby leaves the helm. The bow's kicking off, though. And he goes for the miss on the line. And he's going to get down, and here we go. We're going to two-foot it up. Grab the line on that one. And they'll be able to get it put up from here. The line on the backside slipped off. It looked like it was wrapped around the dock, and it just popped up. But our crew should be good to go. And speaking of good to go, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where me and the machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.